All right, so here is a Yeti 400 I bought off Amazon. It was a gold box deal. I got it for $310 shipped. Regular price is around 450 Figured, why not? It's another toy to keep all my other toys running. So, after looking at all the options for solar panels, the price per watt, uh, gold zero panels, Kind of expensive, so I did some research, and uh, I don't know if the gamble paid off. But there's a company called All Power, with an S at the end, All Powers, and they make a panel that supposedly is 60 watts. And here it is, a total of five panels across, two panels high. I've had a bunch of different configurations so far. And the best one seems to be just what they do on the rooftops, which is angled. Uh, if I just lay, let it hang flat against these uh, rails, we get down to about 15 watts instead of 32, 33. I saw it as high as 35 with a uh, photography silver reflector redirecting even more sunlight onto it. So with a sunny day like this, with zero clouds, in Colorado at 5,400 ASL. I'm only making, at the most, with artificial redirection, 35 watts out of the 60 up to, um, paying more, $200. Uh, I'm getting about five more watts than the $170 to $150 Boulder 30 panel that's static that solves the problem of trying to prop up this thing to get the right angle. Um, also, after about not even an hour of being out in the sun, at 160 Fahrenheit using a fluke meter, I generated uh, some bubbles. There we go, here's one. There's two, that one's pretty significant. And I know for a fact by just canceling out a section of one of these PVs, or actually the they're a type of photovoltaic, but they're some sort of hybrid kind. They're not the regular silicon. But um, if you block up any part of it, it'll reduce the, the total throughput. Or output, sorry. But yeah, so for what this guy can do, I'm charging a uh, Sony battery pack with, the, with those uh, camcorders, but I use them for these FNV photography lights. I've got some Optronic 3400 milliamp hour batteries charging here. I've got a uh, old school, uh, not really old school, but new Trent uh, USB power pack. It seems to be fully charged now. I've got a anchor. This guy's pretty cool. Um, use it for uh, geo uh, not geo ingressing. So we're still putting out anywhere up to 30 something. Where this guy's doing uh, some sort of interesting charge, where it's ramping up, ramping down. But our input from the solar panel using this cable, which is about nine dollars, which basically is a male uh, cigarette lighter, and you have to buy a uh, about six dollar, nine dollars after shipping, a female, uh, whatever the uh, plug format. Now. That's what somebody said in the reviews, and I'll post what you can do is, straight out of the box, this all powers can work with the Yeti. There's a, uh, a jack that comes in with the package that will work, and both of them hit 35 watts. So with both cables, with the same amount of light, um, with the solar reflector, uh, sorry, with the photo... Photography, silver reflector. I was able to get it up to 35. So yeah, I'm not. I've just made it past 50 percent up to the max advertised wattage. Um, hopefully this clears up some questions for people that actually search for Gold Zero 8400 and for the All Powers panel, which is if you go by price per watt. If it were capable of doing it, would be a better deal, but it after 
having two 3D bubbles already and one of the uh, little tie-off things ripping with almost no effort. You can see it right there. It already ripped within little to no use where all I did was hang it just like these guys. These are great. You guys are, are hanging, but that one ripped already. It's been in, in use for about two hours by now. And uh, yeah, you got bubbles, bubbles, more bubbles forming, bubble, bubble. So I don't know. I'll post in the comments. I'm not going to make another video, but how many more bubbles appear? So thanks for viewing.